Here they are. My little guys. Aren't they cool? Oh! <laughs> Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to have a little nutrition snackette and we're going to be talking about these guys which are uh, broccoli sprouts. Cruciferous vegetables which include uh, broccoli and cauliflower, cabbage, bok choy, uh, watercress, uh, even wasabi, radish, um, are an amazing group of plants and they're amazingly good for our health. And I'll try and be as brief as possible, um, but basically these plants have phytochemicals inside them and when they, uh, when they think they're being attacked or eaten, they produce this mild toxin um, to try and protect themselves. Now, this toxin, when we eat it, uh, activates a whole set of uh, immune responses and that makes it incredibly good for us because our immune system kicks in, uh, antioxidants kick in, and these are endogenous uh, antioxidants, so they're not ones you eat in blueberries. These are antioxidants that are incredibly potent uh, that we produce um, by our own bodies. So in things like broccoli, there's a chemical called uh, glucoraphanin and it sits in the broccoli and there's another enzyme called myrosinase. Now when broccoli gets uh, broken up or eaten, so for example, if I take a little bit of broccoli sprout here, and I bring it up, have a look at it. Now when I start breaking this up, even put it in my mouth and chew it. Mmm, fantastic. It combines this um, glucoraphanate and myrosinase and produces something called sulforaphane. And sulforaphane, when it's absorbed into the body, has this amazing reaction. Now there's something called hormesis. There's a guy a uh, long time back um, called uh, Frederick Nietzsche and he once said, that if, if something doesn't kill you, it'll make you stronger. And that's exactly what happens in hormesis. If we take small portions of something that's slightly toxic, it actually kicks our whole immune system into action. So a quick review of some of the benefits of sulforaphane, or SFN as it's sometimes known as. Um, there's been a massive amount of research over the years, and it's uh, got a wide range of biological effects, including antioxidant, antimicrobial, anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, anti-aging, and neuroprotective, and anti-diabetic. And on the cancer front, uh, it's had great results uh, in a variety of cancers, including uh, breast cancer, prostate, colon, skin, lung, stomach, bladder. So a fantastically powerful uh, sulfur-based uh, compound that is incredibly good for us. But the one thing about broccoli sprouts is that they contain about a hundred times more uh, glucoraphanin than uh, a mature broccoli head. So broccoli sprouts, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Um, and they're also amazingly easy to uh, grow yourself, which is also quite fun. They go on salads, they've got this slightly hot peppery taste normally after you've started chewing them but fantastic on salads and incredibly good for you so today i'm just going to go very briefly over how you actually make these things so we're now going to try and grow some of these broccoli sprouts and i do it uh, on a constant basis and I, i'm just running um, one tray after the other but i'll show you basically how how it kicks off and we start with little seeds, which you can get either at a health shop or um, from the internet. These were off the internet. Um, and I normally take, say, a handful like this. I don't know if you can see these, they're just little guys, but I take a handful. And what I do is I put them in, I'll do this now. Bowl like that. So there they are. Perfect. And I just add a little bit of water. Tiny bit. And then I put them in a dark place. And I have this cupboard up here. 
where I have a dark place and I stick them there and I leave them there for about four to six hours while they just soak up. Um, I then put them into one of these trays. So I've got, uh, you can see this uh, tray here. And basically these are uh, trays for the seeds and they have um, holes in the bottom and it lets the water just drain out. You can see it dripping here. So I just put water in here and it drains through these uh, different levels. This one's empty at the moment, this bottom one. Uh, and then you just literally um, leave them. But the first couple of days, you, leave, you keep them in the dark. So they've soaked, once they've soaked, we've, I put them in a tray um, like this. These, uh, let's have a look at these ones. These went in this morning, so they, they're still seeds. Um, these ones have been in about 24 hours. These are still in the dark and then they sprout to about maybe a centimetre long um, and, uh, and, they, and they're quite yellow. Once they, once they, yeah, maybe a centimetre or two, they've started sprouting and you can see them really kicking in, um, you can bring them out into the light and then they start going from yellow to green and then they start growing like crazy. And after four or five or six days, they end up like these little guys, which are pretty much ready to go. And aren't they, oh, try not to put too much water on the floor. Aren't they beautiful? So once they've got to this stage, we can basically harvest them. And I'm going to show you how to do that uh, in a minute. Okay, now we're going to um, take these broccoli sprouts that are ready. And basically what I'm going to do is uh, remove them from here and just give them a wash. And you can see actually what I'll do is if I turn this over, you'll see basically all the roots and the seed husks. Now, what I could do is just trim them like a hairdresser across the top um, and just take them off there. But actually the roots and the rest of it are incredibly good for you as well. So it would seem a bit of a waste. And I've tried lots of different techniques for doing this. And the one I found best is just a, a steamer and, and it could be a colander or something, but, but basically a, a, a sieve um, is a little bit too fine to let these uh, shells go, go through. So this has got a, a nice size of a uh, hole to let it go through. And all I do is take the whole set of seeds, stick them in here. And uh, you can see some of the, the leftover seed husks here. So I'll put that to the side. And then I just start washing them. Now if I just um, break these up a little bit so they all get nicely separated. And really all that's going to happen is that the, the sprouts stay at the top and the seed husks get washed through. I get a little cooler. You can see that. Um, the roots are great as well. And I just keep keep breaking them up, keep washing them. Okay, and now I can just lay out a little bit of paper towel. I just do a couple of layers of paper towel here. Just to give them a good dry off. Take them out of here, lay them out nicely. And just leave them. So you can put them in a plastic bag uh, and stick them in the fridge if you're going to eat them in the next couple of days or you can actually put them in a bag and freeze them um, and they, they will last uh, very well frozen and they retain all of these fantastic phytonutrients um, that we're after uh, and you can either stick them into a, 
a, a blender and make a smoothie or you can put them back on salads. So there we are. That is a whole lot of health there. <laughs>